Right, do a video today on the Ranger of Sport 2005, I guess the 2010 um, glove box. Um, so we've got in our car the glove box has broken. Now I don't know if it's just my car or other people's. Um, so we bought this whole assembly off, um, off eBay, the whole lot. And we were going to just change the whole lot, but it turns into a complete disaster. So let's go and look in the car, show you my problem and what we're going to do about it. So, so my, my problem is basically this handle's gone all sort of floppy and I've, I've ripped this front panel off here. Um, the glove box all still works fine, it all smooth opens and everything, but it's just this, you can see I've tried to fix it in here, it's just this pivot point has broken here. Now, I don't know if this is a big problem with a lot of people or um, or just a one-off on our car, but we thought we'd explain what we did to fix it and try and fix it. To take it off, you have to take out, oh, remind me, you have to take this you down. You have to take... There, there was a secret screw section. under here, right? You have to take you have this out. You take out. this vent out, that out, the side panel, this side panel, this vent, and then there's still a screw you can't get to. Yeah, and I will show you the screw you can't get to, um, because it is an absolute massive strip down job which is what we I were going to do it to get to that last screw you have to take the whole, the whole stereo yeah the whole center console out we'll show you the one and it looks like funnily enough the guy who stripped this out of the car that he was breaking on ebay this is the screw here so you can see relative to the handle it's straight across so we can get to this this one's screw. not too bad there's one on the oh. bottom we can get to it's just this one is hidden right, right. behind the other trim what they made it so difficult don't know but anyway that's what it is now so what we're going to do is rather than change it we're going to try and pull the front cover off like we've done on the one in the car so we can have a look it's bonded on you stay there and you know, i'll grab this one it, it, it's bonded on and it, it's got like a glue along here now this one came off relatively easy. We're going to try and pull that one off. It's the same colour as right. We're going to try and get that one off. And then we're going to put some adhesive back on that one and silicon it back on. It's not the factory way to do it, but if it gets us out of a problem without spending all day stripping the dash, then that's probably good enough. One more thing, we did consider taking the, the whole door off and there's two pivot pins that go in here but if you look at them the way they're designed they've got this sort of arrowhead that springs out and the pin goes in and then springs out and you can't get in to you need to squeeze these together and push them out you can't get into these when it's on the car because that would be really easy if you could push or slide them out but you can't when it's on the car so the best way is when it's in the car close your glove box up go from the underside obviously in the car it, it's this way up go from this underside and we're going to try and use a trim tool and see how easy it is to to get one of these off mm -hmm. it goes under easy enough hmm? Try this side. This is a bit brutal. This. No, that ain't happening. I'll try from the top side in. made a lot more complicated by the fact that it's not on the car. On the car, yeah. Because I seem to remember we did it on the car. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, go on, give us that. Okay, I've got a 
what the cat. Yeah. Okay, so that proves we've had, <laughs> that really was a horrible video to make. Um, but what we've got now is we've got the whole cat, everything in there is self contained, and we're going to bomb that on. So we'll go and put some PU adhesive on there, we'll try and fit it on, and then we'll come back and show you us refitting it. Right, we're back. Um, now we've tried it in the car, but if you look here, there's a, a bit of the um, plastic here is stopping it locating on our car so we need to just make sure that's flat so just check around all the edge where you've you've done it and just check it hasn't bought a bit of plastic so oh, that snaps off quite easy isn't it? yeah it's fairly brittle all yeah, the glue where they've bonded or glued or ultrasonic it or done whatever all right okay so we try to fit that now it, it was rocking you could tell it wasn't quite right We sort of locate it at the top, swing it under. Does that look like it's meeting better? Yeah, it's tucking up now. Yeah. So you just want to make sure that this edge is straight. That edge is straight. One back two. edge. Right. Right. Go on and put some put some gunk on it. So we've got Tiger Seal. We're big fans of Tiger Seal. It's a PU polyurethane adhesive. Quite most motor factors have this. It's messy and horrible. But yeah, I would just. Squidge it out along there, so you know, is it moving? Right, we're just going to follow along the traces. Do you ice cakes at the weekend as well? Um, occasionally, yes. He's done this before. I was making meringues last weekend. I was. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you for baking tip. Right, so we're going to put this on. Then we've got some little clips handy here. So we're going to offer it up and then clamp it up. Again, I apologise, this is like two cowboys fix a glove box. But it seemed the best way of doing it. We've got to get out and play with our new project car. We didn't want to spend too long on the old sport. Super keen on that. Uh, these are the bits that you're gonna pull on. Yeah, yeah. Alright, no, leave that there, that's right. Alright, I got the clips, you got that. Pretty fierce, some little clips, isn't it? Right, there you go. Can you get one on the back? That's going to be the tricky one, isn't it? Move that one up to the corner. Either that, or you could put that plastic box sideways in, like we had before, and sort of rest it on there. Right, I think that's enough for the video, but you've got that clamp on. So basically, you're going to have to leave those on there for overnight at least. So we'll try and get the four clamps on. But that's basically the cowboy way of fixing the glove box on your um, Range Rover Sport. Good luck with that.